So it's been brought to my attention what I forgot to do with the typewriter text tutorial video and it's the beeps. So I felt like there was something I was forgetting and I just could not put my finger on it. So let's jump back into that one and I'll show you how to add it and it's pretty quick. So right in our text function when we're adding each individual letter to our screen right here we can just add in a sound effect so we'll do a play sound 2d and a 2d sound is good because it just affects kind of like it's ui it doesn't have any attenuation because it's not in the world or anything so We'll just plug that right there, and plug this right here, and if you need a sound effect, oops, then right here on opengameart.org there's a beep sound. I'll leave a link to this one, but it works pretty well for what we would need, so I'll leave this link in the description. And I've already downloaded it, so you just this one. All right, so let's drag it into our project. If you're using a different sound effect, just make sure it's a dot wave, dot wav, whatever that thing is, and a beep. All right, so we'll just plug that in right there, and then every time it adds a letter. Hmm, sounds kind of funny. It's adding in it on the spaces too. Is the only unfortunate way about unfortunate thing about doing it this way. But a way around that is if we grab all this and move it this way, we can add one more branch. So the reason I'm adding another branch here is because we can check the value of the substring. So the substring is where we're feeding in the string of dialogue. So when we get the substring, it's the one individual letter. So what we can do is see if it is containing, if string contains a substring. So you can form another substring off of a substring. So in this little box, you can't just leave it blank because then it just registers nothing. If you put your little cursor in there and add in a space, you got to make sure you put that space in there so that it registers right. Drag this over here to that branch. Add a few reroute nodes to just make it pretty. And if it does not contain a space, then we'll plug it in here. If it does contain a space, I'll just add another. Why did you do that? I'll just add another reroute node like that. So if it's a letter, it plays. If it's a space, it skips. It doesn't seem to change too much if the text is very fast, but it can add a little bit of a... Yeah, it's kind of nicer. Do you not talk? I forgot to make you talk. Well, let me make this one talk real quick. So let's add our... No. Oh. Dialogue component. How are you doing today, my friend? That's not how you spell friend at all. Let's say you'll be at yeah, default speed. So let's see how it sounds with the beeps and the no beeps. Probably not very nice to kick them around while I talk to them, but you know, you had it coming. But yeah, that's how you would do that and how you would check for spaces to make sure you don't play your sound. Or you could just feed it through. Either way works. So yeah. Alright, I'll see y'all later. Bye.